You are now entering the Subnautics. I'm Alex, and we have a really nice mechanical keyboard from Drop to review today. If you like videos like this, be sure to leave us a like, hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment. I would love to hear what your thoughts on this keyboard. So let's jump into this video. Drop is a brand that knows how to market their products. I've been hammered with their ads on Facebook and Instagram for years now, and I've always wanted to get these fingers onto a Drop mechanical keyboard to see what all the noise is about. Enter the Enter. I bought the Drop Enter 10 keyless mechanical keyboard for $99, and I've been using it as my main keyboard for more than a month now. While it isn't the most glamorous product we've ever looked at here, I certainly do see why mechanical keyboard fans turn to drop when they're on a budget. The color and switch combination I chose to add to my desk setup was the green and gray combo utilizing Halo True switches. As the cheapest product in Drop's current lineup, the backlighting on the Enter only has white coloring. That might be a turnoff for some buyers spoiled by years of RGB gaming keyboards. I personally don't mind not having RGB here, but the white coloring doesn't mesh too well with the green and gray combination of this board. Thanks to the board, the actual color of this board, the white light produces an off yellowish tint. This has a very 1980s IBM feel to it. That aesthetic feel is back in nowadays, so this might be a benefit to retro keyboard seekers. Other than that, the Halo True switches fit perfectly in just about any setting as they are relatively dense in weight, yet effective with the, tree, with the keystrokes. They're springy with a suppressed muffle as not to be intrusive or obnoxious to others in your surroundings. The sound that comes out of this mechanical keyboard is it's deceptively tame in volume and presence. I actually think this would make a terrific, terrific office keyboard with this color combination as well. It's just very subtle. From a distance and also up close, the Enter has a subtle class and professional demeanor to it. In fact, I feel like I feel like that's how most of Drop's mechanical keyboards are. Housed in an anodized aluminum casing with double shot PBT keycaps, the keyboard is pleasant to the eyes, while durable to the fingertips as well. It's also a bit heavier than it looks thanks to that metal body. This keyboard can be propped up in only one height on top of laying it flat on the table. I think the angle is just about the right height for most typing or gaming experiences to help alleviate strain during long periods in this certain position. It's also nice and sturdy without any wobble or flex due to the solid metal body. I won't know for sure how well a keyboard will hold up with everyday use until a couple of years later, but we don't have that much time for this review. But at least with double shot PBT caps, I have a bit more confidence in it retaining its appearance for a bit longer. Drop claims the Enter will survive over 80 million keystrokes for this 87 keys on the board. Speaking of keystrokes, it has been quite fun messing around with these Halo True switches. There is a distinct retaliation sensation that feels as if the keyboard is putting up a resistance to your finger upon input. The cool thing about these switches is when you try typing with minimal impact and the Enter registers the command, with the key barely moving down. It's quite fun to watch in slow motion when you're typing. This is a heavy departure from the sound and feel of something like my ASIO retro keyboard or the light tapping opto mechanical switches on my Razer Huntsman. The keyboard layout is 10 keyless, which means we don't have a numpad here. Drop isn't known to produce full-size keyboards, so this is a norm for them. The key icons are also quite minimalistic, so choosing to omit these secondary functions like media controls or backlighting from print, I actually kind of like that. You know, the aesthetic choice on this is something that I appreciate because I have actually memorized my shortcut commands during my time with the Mionix Way keyboard. I'm also a fan of that font decision that Drop uses on all their keyboards. 
with the exception of the shift commands on the num row, like the uh, dollar sign or the at sign, every letter and word on the keyboard fits my style to almost an exact T. Lastly, the drop enter plugs into a computer using USB-C as its cable. You can bring your own cable to the party as this mechanical keyboard allows for detachable connectivity. That's a terrific thing. That's terrific for customization with coiled aviator cables. Drop has a little bit of compatibility issues with a lot of their keyboards due to the output of the wattage. Fortunately, the Enter doesn't seem to be plagued with that issue or that same kind of fate as their siblings in the current lineup of keyboards. You can't really go wrong with the Drop Enter. I personally believe that the 10 keyless form factor is the perfect medium for just about every single user out there. 65% keyboards are getting more popular by the day, but, there's a but, when it comes to versatility and aesthetic presence, 10 keyless keyboards really, they really do increase efficiency ever so slightly. At $100, the Enter is a high quality typing experience that did not disappoint my high expectations from a, yeah, I would say this is a hit brand. If anything, I'm worried now that the Enter is just a gateway for me to spend way too much money on other drop products like the Shift or the Alt, which I've been eyeing for a very long time. You know what I like? Likes. You know what I don't like? A non-subscriber. So please subscribe and stay tuned for more. <laughs>